Do you know what's lurking in your walls, attic, or basement? Well, mold in homes is a growing problem, and here to tell us how to keep your family safe is Jacqueline Resnick, owner and founder of Mold USA. It's an inspection consultation company, and uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, how do you know, first off, if you if you have mold in your home or office? Well, uh, mold is present basically 100% of the time, so oh. it's going to be present always. Okay. And effectively, if you have water damage, mm -hmm. mold has the ability to grow rapidly. Mm -hmm. So 24 to 72 hours of moisture and water damage that's elevated and mold can begin to grow. Okay. It's really important to keep the water damage in control and act quickly if you have a problem. Okay, that's the way that you prevent it by clearing. But a lot of times it's people don't even know it's behind a wall or something. Right. Uh, because it's present always, mm -hmm. and because water damage is always going to be the culprit, mm -hmm. it, it can rapidly grow. You don't have to see it to have okay. a problem. Okay. And so it's basically if you start noticing if you've had water damage, it's usually when it's dry, not when it's still wet, that people will start noticing health effects. Okay. Now, so. oh, I'm sorry. I was going to ask you if all molds are dangerous? Not at all. In okay. fact, most molds are not dangerous. However, when you have that water damage and you have um, the mold growing, mm -hmm. usually it's harmless. It can be allergenic, mm -hmm. and the longer it grows, the heavier it can become. And then when it dries up, that's when it goes airborne. That's when people might feel allergenic, al excuse me, mm -hmm. allergenic effects. Mm -hmm. But the uh, the toxic molds, those take a little bit longer. They're usually wet and heavier to the ground. They don't always go airborne as easily, mm -hmm. but you can't tell by looking at them if they're toxic or not. Okay, now we often hear about black mold. Is that toxic or it can be? It, it can be. Black mold is one of the biggest mistakes that, mm -hmm. that people, you know, people get very concerned mm -hmm. with mold. And if you see something black, just because it's black does not mean it's, quote, the black mold. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make it toxic. It doesn't mean that you're in danger. It just means that it potentially could be a toxic mold, but reality is that you really have to test for it because no, and anybody that walks in, a remediator, an inspector, anybody that walks in and looks at it and says, that's the black mold, you're mm -hmm. in danger, beware because it's not something somebody can look at and identify. Okay, so it's, how do you find a good company, though, to come out if you do see something, you want to make sure you've got the right person not pulling one of those on you. Um, what do you do? Ideally, if you have a problem, you shouldn't go directly to a remediation company. Okay. You really should call an inspector that is independent. You don't want somebody that does inspection and removal because they have an incentive to tell you that you have a problem where you may not have a problem at all. Mm -hmm. they, the big money is in mold removal. So somebody can tell you, uh, oh, that's black mold. You need to leave immediately. We'll come in. We'll fix it. We'll take care of it. Don't worry. We'll do everything for you. But those are the people that have the ability to scare you, turn mm -hmm. a small problem into a large problem, take advantage of you. You don't know any better. You come back after you've spent a lot of money and you mm -hmm. feel safe. You may not be safe at all, or you may never have had a problem in the first place that required remediation. What if you, I mean, does it typically make you feel sick? Or, I mean, is that when you should call somebody in? If you feel fine, then you're okay? Or, or do you always need to? If you mm -hmm. notice, mm -hmm. if you notice that you come home and you start feeling bad. If mm -hmm. you're feeling great when you're out at school or mm -hmm. at work or mm -hmm. just out doing whatever you do all day, mm -hmm. and you come home to your house and you start getting headaches, mm -hmm. you are having allergenic effects in your home constantly, typical itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, coughing, dizziness, mm -hmm. headaches, lethargia, those are all symptoms mm -hmm. that, that could be evident of mold. Okay. But if you notice it in your home, you should certainly Call, but get a Call. reputable company. All reputable right. Reputable company. Thank yes. you so much, Jacqueline. We certainly Thank appreciate you. your time. And to learn more about Mold USA, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.